Hey guys, welcome to another prayer focus. As always, I'm a brother in Christ who is just connected to you guys by faith and by his spirit. So that means there's no distance. Um, as always, I only ask that we only we all find a space where we can give all the focus we can to God and and that we are understanding that God loves to hear us, that he wants our presence, that he loves to be present with us. And so let's make sure we have that time and that we just pour out our hearts before him right now, that we shout wherever we got to shout, that we speak everything that we have to speak to him, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. So let's pray. Let us pray. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father God, I just pray for your people right now. I ask that you move powerfully over every single person right now. I ask in Jesus' mighty name that I put everybody on the altar listening to my voice. Oh, Father God, we enter into your course right now. We enter your course by faith. And we see that the blood of Jesus is already speaking our, on our behalf. That your blood, Father God, is already speaking on our behalf. Saying great things about us. Saying the reasons, God, Jesus Christ died on the cross for us. Oh, Lord, we come into your courts and align ourselves and ask for the blood of Jesus to only speak. Lord, I pray in Jesus' name that the blood of Jesus speaks everything that is supposed to happen in our lives. I pray in Jesus' name that your blood is shouting and declaring the will of God in our life. And contrary to everything Satan tries to accuse us about. Oh, Lord, I declare that the blood of Jesus is silencing the accuser in our life greatly, instantly. Oh, Father God, I pray in Jesus' mighty name that you rule over everything that is going wrong in our lives, Lord. That before you, Lord, before these courts, Lord, that we have your grace, that we have your mercy. Lord, I pray in Jesus' name, through your grace and mercy, that you move powerfully and outflow, that you flow into the people here, that you flow into everybody listening to my voice, that your infilling takes place, that your infilling is rising and rising and rising and increasing in these people. Father God, I pray in Jesus' name that they, this rises of your infilling to an overflow, to an outpouring, to more than enough, God, more than enough. God, I thank you for your mercy right now. I thank you for your infilling right now. I thank you for this infilling I'm seeing. I'm seeing people being filled to overflowing where they had life. They're being filled with the presence of God. They're being filled with his grace. They're being filled with his mercy. All that he has to offer. God is doing it. He is doing it. Oh Lord, I declare that you're overpouring and outpouring in their lives and their situations. I've seen God outpouring and outpouring your homes. In Jesus' name, God, you are doing a wonder work. You are working miracles, Father. You are shattering us with your presence. You are showering us with your presence, Lord. Outpouring us supernaturally, Lord. Continue to increase in our lives, Lord. I ask in Jesus' mighty name that our situations, that our problems, that our issues that seem to not be fixed, that we can't seem to get past. Oh, Lord, by your power, Lord, make a way. Make a way where there is no way, God. Make a way where there is no way, Lord. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Rapha, my Father, my God, you are my God. And I declare right now that you are a way maker. You are a way maker. And in Jesus' name, ways are being made beyond our understanding. A way is being made beyond our understanding. And that in Jesus' name, you shall get the glory again. We shall praise you again. We shall shout your name and rejoice again. We shall celebrate again. Oh, Father God, I declare a path being made. I'm seeing a path in the spirit where there was literally, there is no way out. It's like in the natural, in order, it would have not happened. But now I'm seeing God do a supernatural thing where things that didn't bend are bending where things that could not move normally are actually moving out the way and that there is a literal path for people to walk through that could have not been there by any means otherwise. 
Oh, Father God, you are this way maker. You are this powerful God. You are the one who goes through any situation and makes another situation happen. You're the one who makes another chapter happen because a chapter has ended and you've made it possible to go to the next one. Oh, God, you are the one who flips the pages of our book and continues to read like nothing was hindering our story. Oh, Father God, you are this God. You are this God. Father God, I thank you. I worship you, Lord. I praise you, Lord. Supernaturally, Lord, you are working miracles. You are doing a miracle in our life. You are shattering these walls. You are shattering the oppression. You are shattering this witchcraft. People are going to sense your presence right now. I can tell it. You're about to, you're sensing the presence of God. Sit in this space. He wants to dwell with you right now. Let the, let the rising of God take place in you. It is his work in you. He's the molder. He's the shaper. He's the one changing everything around. He's the one who sees the heartache. He sees the pain. He sees the problem. He sees the struggle. Oh, he sees the struggle. And in Jesus' name, he is going to make that turbulent situation He's going to make your trembling temple be still now. You're going to feel solid. You're going to feel solid right now in Jesus' name. God is going to have you grounded and firm and still because he has filled you. And the lack you used to feel is no longer now. God has put you in this place for a reason, he says. He has kept you here for a purpose, he says. He's not looking back. He has you there and he's going to go forward through you. You have a plan that is going to be fulfilled from God himself. God is going to help you. He's going to counsel you. He's going to show you things. He's going to reveal things. He's going to manifest his perfect will in you. God himself is loving you right now. He's giving you a fervent love. He's showing you, I, I truly desire you. I adore you, my child. I keep you where I need you. You are sound in my hands and my sight. You are sound in my sight. He loves you with a great love. Oh, I can sense such a surrounding, a such a, a, a personal love, a, a personal time. It's like God has made a secret place right where you are right now. Like he's made this, this extra separation, this sanctification of an area where you are in the space where God is dwelling with you even deeper, an extremely personal place he has created right now in your midst. It is so personal. It is so personal. And I know you can tell it. God has let me know you can feel this right now. This is the grace of God saying, I'm right here, even deeper than you thought. I'm deeper than you thought. And this is God's love. He loves you so much. He truly cares for you. He wants you to be successful. He wants you to get to that new place. He wants you to arrive and showcase what he has for you to offer. He wants you to have the will that he has go forth through you. He is ready to use you. He is ready to use you. And in Jesus name, he will use you. You are going to be used. God himself is coming to you and stating that I love you, that I cherish you, that you are my child, that you are purposed greatly for me. I have a great plan for you. Supernatural things are coming to you. Supernatural things will be moving from you. In Jesus' name. God himself is with you and he cares for you with a great love. He wants you to know that I have a perfect plan, so powerful, so mighty, that I will only get the glory, that I will only receive the praise. And he says, you are a part of it. He says, you are a part of this. Thank you, Lord. I'll pour your grace. I'll pour your flood right now. I'll pour your flood right now. In Jesus' name, into your people. Let the people feel this overflowing that I'm seeing right now. In Jesus' name, touch your people, Lord. Overflow through them, God. Shower them with your presence. 
Shower them with your presence. Shower them with your presence, God. Help them see what you see. Overflow in them in great ways. Do supernatural things and keep them in your perfect will. Overflow in every situation to where they only feel your presence. Overflow in a situation to the outflowing of your power is the only thing witnessed. Oh God, I pray they praise again. I pray they celebrate again. I pray they are giving great, great glory to you, Lord. Father God, I pray in Jesus' name you supernaturally increase these people. That you elevate these people. That you put them on high, in higher places. That they're going up a ladder, just as you have stated in the word. That they're going from increase to increase, Lord. Oh, Father God, we sit in heavenly places. So from the places we sit, I declare your heavenly things to take place in our lives. I declare heavenly things to be released in, from our lives and into our lives and through our lives, Lord. Father God, use us as instruments to speak your heavenly things forth. Use us as instruments to speak all the things you have for us into this reality, into this world, into this into the story that you have written about us. Lord Jesus, I declare your grace, Lord, your mercy, Father, a power and a supernatural from your hands, Lord, to help and change everything going on with these people, Lord. I declare your power. I declare your, your vengeance on everything that was stolen. Oh God, I, I declare right now a great power to shatter and uproot everything the enemy has done, everything he has done to them. By the power of God, I pray for a great uprooting, a great threshing of the enemy in the name of Jesus, that he is uprooted, threshed out, and destroyed out of your life, that he is overturned, that every type of fortress or stronghold he's building up against you is pulled down, torn down, and shattered in the name of Jesus. I pray for angel armies to be released on your behalf to overcome, to defeat the enemy, to be loosened, to increase, to do the will of God for your life and for your story. Oh, Lord, I pray in Jesus name for extra protection for these people, more than enough protection for these people going forward from th to this day. I pray in Jesus name from here on out, there are more angels that accompany these people, that there's more increase, that there's more resilience to the enemy oh lord he comes in seven ways father god come in 47 ways god against the enemy in jesus mighty name by the power of god and the name of jesus i proclaim this over every person listening to my voice that by your spirit lord we are changed by your spirit lord we are strengthened by your spirit lord we are outpouring and we're speaking in tongues the things that should exist in our life, that need to exist in our life, that will happen in our life. Oh, Father God, help us declare our future you see, no matter what the circumstance or the situation we see. Oh, God, I declare in Jesus' name that we'll proclaim it with faith and not doubt, that we'll say it in all faith and no doubt, in Jesus' mighty name, in the name of Jesus, it's by your power, Lord. It's by your flow, Lord. It's by your orchestration, Jesus Christ. Overflow and overflow and overflow. In the name of Jesus, in each and every person, right now. Show them who you are, right now. Help them see greater things about you, right now. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. And amen. As always, if you're led to stay in the spirit and the presence of God, please do so. Let him work on you. Have your quality time with him the way he sees fit. I love you guys. Be blessed. Bye-bye.